Welcome to another episode of Holistic Lifestyle Coaching with Ryan David. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about the relationship between frustration, expectations, and anxiety. Your frustrations, if you have them, and if you tend to get frustrated very often, your frustrations come from a disconnect between old frames of reference and quote expectations for how new experiences are going to go. So generally speaking, you probably tend to, whenever you encounter a new experience or new information or a new situation, what we do by nature is we tend to try to refer to this mental Rolodex of previous experiences. They're called frames of reference. Every time you experience something, you learn something, you put a frame around it and file it away, to put it simply. And so you have that there so that you don't have to relearn how to do that the next time you come across that situation. So whenever we face a new situation or new information or come into contact with a new uh, experience, if you will, we refer immediately to what we've already done. And we refer to that mental Rolodex and we try to find a frame that's either the perfect frame that fits around this experience and we kind of refer to the frame so that we know exactly how to do what we're doing. Um, or we refer to a frame that close fits closely or closest with our new experience and because we want to kind of be, we're not familiar with it. So frustration and anxiety can come from when we experience new things or new information or new experiences and we don't have an old frame that uh, fits the new experience or we don't have a frame at all for the new experience. And the frustration happens when we're trying to pull from old experiences or old information to understand uh, this new situation or new experience and it's not happening. So we tend to try and slap an old frame around a new experience and that leads to frustration. And sometimes when we can't find an old frame or we don't know how to do something, it's because we don't have an old frame and we start to feel anxious because of this. So there's a direct relationship between the frustration you feel on an everyday basis aggravation and frustration and your expectations. So if we understand that expectations are coming from previous experiences and it's in our nature to try and understand new information by referring to and comparing it to or, or, or trying to pull from old information and old experiences, if we get familiar with that process and we understand that whenever we do face new information or a new situation or a new experience and we become frustrated with why it's not going the way we want it to go, it's because it's not going the way we want it to go or we're not getting the results that we want or it is not the way that it is uh, that we want it to be because it doesn't match up with what we've already done or what we already know or how it's supposed to be. And so people who tend to get frustrated very often are kind of closed-minded. They tend to be closed-minded uh, most of the time and they tend to have these get stuck on their old frames and it's supposed to be this way or it has to be that way or that doesn't match what I know so it's wrong and they're very very kind of stuck in their ways if you will and their ways are their frames of reference so if you have that issue or that struggle with frustration start taking a look at if you're trying to make you know that round peg that's new fit into a box um, a square box and, and that can be the frustration there what we can do to alleviate this is what people who deal with frustration already know and that is when you experience something new, yes, maybe refer to what you already know, but if it doesn't fit or it doesn't mesh well with it instantly or right away, one, accept it for brand new information, get curious about it and say, wow, I've never experienced this before, let me take this in as a brand new frame, or two, or I should say and two, take the old frames that are similar or remind you or kind of work or you know are closely related, take those frames, modify or adapt them and create a brand new one, a separate experience. Don't try to fit your new experience into an old one where it just doesn't fit. So those are two strategies you can use when facing frustration in terms of new experiences or new information or going through something that's really causing you to feel some type of way um, and feeling frustration about really something just not matching up well with what you expected it and how you expected it to go. So that situation can be the determining factor for a lot of people who experience anxiety on a regular basis is when things aren't going the way they expect them to go because they have certain frames of reference for how things are supposed to go. We need to, in order to alleviate some anxiety and some frustration, we need to get comfortable with the process of seeing things through what they call a beginner's mindset and seeing everything as brand new and not push your preconceived notions or expectations onto everything and how it's supposed to be. You might have an understanding of how things maybe could go or should go or have gone in the, in the past, but that doesn't have to determine how everything's going to be in the future. So get familiar and, and, and get comfortable with the process of looking at everything through this beginner's mindset and seeing everything as fresh. And if it fits well or fits in with a previous frame uh, of reference that you have, sure, let it fit. But if it doesn't, create a new one for yourself and alleviate some of that frustration and just experience things as for what they are. It's what a mentor of mine, Jennifer Grace, kind of calls her, her 
mantra is be here now, uh, be present in the moment and take things for what they are. Um, it, it falls in line with that same philosophy as far as accepting things for what they are. No judgment is another one of her philosophies, not pushing any of your preconceived notions or judgments that you've had from the past or biases onto everything that's new. Just accept things for what they are in this moment. Now there's also a conversation to be had about is frustration always bad? Frustration is not always bad. Frustration can be used as fuel and as motivation for you to achieve or accomplish things. Here's when we also feel frustrated at times. When we're not getting the results or the outcomes that we are getting don't match up or aren't in line with the expectations of what we wanted or what our goals were to begin with. So frustration can be a great tool for you to use if you channel that energy and you channel that focus as far as you have a goal, you have an outcome, you have something you're working towards. And if you aren't getting the results that you want or that you have, the expectation you have in your mind, be realistic about them. Don't set unrealistic goals. But if the results you're getting don't match up with your expectations, then you know something's off. You need to kind of work on doing something differently to get the results you want. So oftentimes we can also feel frustrated when the outcomes we're getting or the results we're getting aren't in line with the goals that we expected or how we wanted things to go. Um, and that frustration doesn't have to cripple you or debilitate you. That frustration can be fuel or can motivate you and be the drive to do something different, change, learn from what's going on. Um, but if you're frustrated, it's, it's actually a good thing in terms of achievement and goal setting. Frustration means that you're, you're interested, you're concerned, um, there's energy there. You can harness that energy and, and, and use that, like I say, to drive you, to motivate you, to push you um, to, to do something different or do something better or to get what you actually want. So there's a difference between frustration and not having the outcomes in our lives that we're working for or working towards, not having those outcomes or, or goals line up or be in line with or be the same as what we have as far as expectations for what we want in our lives. Um, that disconnect can cause frustration, but that's a good one because we're in control of that. We can change and modify and do some things differently to get the outcome that we want. So that frustration, if we recognize it, can be beneficial to our productivity. Um, the frustration that we have when we interact with life and we experience new things that we don't control, um, somebody else's behavior uh, in a situation or an experience, once again, um, these things are out of our control. We don't control our environment or our external situations. So if you experience something externally that doesn't match up with or isn't in line with how you think it should go, and that's irrational to think something should or shouldn't be a certain way. Um, maybe it has been in the past, but to think something that's external should be a certain way because it already has been is gonna leave you with feeling some anxiety. If you walk around feeling like thinking everybody should be a certain way, uh, they're not going to be, and that's gonna leave you feeling anxious because the expectation you have for how they should be and how they really are is a disconnect that you can't do anything about. So it's about accepting things as new, accepting things as different and saying, okay, I feel frustrated or anxious right now about the fact that I want one thing in my mind or I have this one thing that I'm referring to or thinking about or an old frame that I want to see this through. It's just not working and it doesn't fit well. That frustration can be debilitating and that frustration can lead to anxiety. So temper your expectations in terms of new experiences with things that you don't control. See things through what they call a beginner's mindset. Everything is fresh. Um, accept it for what it is. If it fits an old frame of reference, go ahead, file that away. But if it doesn't, create a new one and file that new experience away as a new experience. And you've expanded now, you've learned. And we also push away and kind of neglect the opportunity to learn oftentimes if we try to push our old preconceived notions and everything we've already known onto everything that's new. So we try to make everything that's new fit into an old box. Um, that's not gonna allow you to have a growth mindset either. Uh, and this can get worse as we get older because the more we experience, the more frames we file away. So the more we feel like, oh, we have a frame for that. We just try to fit it in. You know, always see things through a child's eyes in terms of your experiences and everything being fresh and new. And like I say, if it fits, then go ahead and file it away. But if it doesn't, create a new one and expand your mind. And that's one of the beauties of learning and of knowledge and of wisdom is just like taking things in for new and creating new frames of reference. And that's really what the essence of expanding, expanding your mind is. So pay attention to the difference between, you know, the frustrations that you're feeling when you have things that your expectations are putting pressure on you about things you can't control and the frustration that you feel in terms of not getting the outcomes that you want in your life that you have absolute control over in terms of changing your behavior or learning from some of your, your actions. Keep those things in mind. As always, if you found this tip useful, leave me a thumbs up. Feel free to drop a comment. Subscribe for more videos just like this to stay in contact and I will see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.